Welcome to Let's Do English. If you're new to my channel, click on the subscribe button so that you are notified every time a new video is out. Let us jump into the lesson. What are question tags? Question tags are used to turn a statement into a question. What purpose does question tags serve? We use question tags to get a yes or a no response. For example, he went to see the match, didn't he? All we are trying to do is to get the person to say a yes or a no, or answer us by saying yes he did or no he didn't. Secondly, we use question tags to get a detailed response. For example, you had a great vacation, didn't you? The basic rules of question tags are, if the statement is positive, the tag must be negative. Let's look at the example. It was a great performance, wasn't it? It was a great performance is a positive statement. Hence, the tag needs to be in the negative, wasn't it? Now, the correct way to form a question tag would be to identify is if there is an auxiliary verb and place that first and then we add the noun or the pronoun. In this example, was is the auxiliary verb that needs to be changed to the negative form wasn't and then we add the pronoun to it. If the statement is negative, the tag must be positive. For example, it wasn't a great performance, was it? Let us look at what auxiliary verbs are. The auxiliary verb is a helping verb and supports the main verb. Examples of auxiliary verbs are am, are, is, was, were, do, does, did, have, has, had, will, would, shall, should, can, could, may, might, must. Let us look at the statements here that has the auxiliary verb in them. It is a beautiful day today. Since this is a positive statement, the question tag needs to be in the negative. Isn't it? I am doing my best. Aren't I? There is no word as am not or am not hence we use aren't. Let's look at a couple of negative statements that has the auxiliary verb. Since these are negative statements, the question tag needs to be in the positive. He didn't go to watch the movie, did he? He doesn't know anyone here, does he? Please note that every sentence does not need to have an auxiliary verb. Hence, we use the words do, does, did, and doesn't, didn't, and don't to form a question tag. Now we have a list of statements without the auxiliary verbs. In the case of positive statements, we use negative question tags. He likes good food, doesn't he? He does like good food is what it means doesn't he? He went to the mall, didn't he? We work hard, don't we? She hardly lies would mean she does not lie, does she? He never says anything to her, does he? He bought nothing for himself, did he? So in the case of positive statements, we used the negative question tags. Doesn't, didn't and don't. 
and in the case of negative statements we use the positive question tags do, does and did. Some of the important points to consider here is with have, has or had as the main verb use do, didn't and don't. For example, you have a car, don't you? Instead of saying you have a car, haven't you? It would be much better to say you have a car, don't you? With sentences starting with let's, use the auxiliary verb shall. Let's go and eat, shall we? For polite request, use won't. For example, please get me a bottle of water, won't you? For commands, request and to forbid, use will or would. Get me a bottle of water, will you? That is all for today's video and I hope this video has helped you gain an understanding about question tags. Feel free to subscribe and share this video with friends and family that you think will benefit the most from. I will have a quiz on question tags in my next video.